The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is a single-seat twin-engine, all-weather tactical stealth fighter aircraft designed for the American Air Force. It is a versatile fighter built to perform well in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The F-22 Raptor marks a major advancement in combat aviation thanks to its cutting-edge technologies and exceptional performance. So, how is this fighter aircraft still being used even after 25 years of production? How is the F-22 Raptor so special compared to other fighters? Hold on to your seats as we take off with one of the most famous fighter aircrafts of all time. The F-22 Raptor marked a quantum leap in terms of warfighting capabilities. Thanks to its blend of stealth, supercruise, maneuverability, integrated avionics, and increased supportability. The F-22, a crucial number of the Global Strike Task Force, is built to quickly and far away project air supremacy and destroy adversaries that try to bar the United States Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marine Corps from a target area. No existing or future fighter aircraft can compete with the F-22. Stealth, aerodynamic performance, and mission systems work together in the fighter to provide a breakthrough in air combat capabilities and establish the benchmark for its generation. The F-22 is expected to serve into the 2030s and eventually have its role succeeded by the USAF's next-generation air dominance manned fighter component. Who had the key role in creating this machine? Boeing and Lockheed Martin collaborated to design and construct the F-22, a highly sophisticated tactical fighter that combines stealth, integrated avionics, and maneuverability. In the middle of the 1990s, the F-22 was created to take the place of the F-15 as America's primary fighter of dominance. Boeing supplied the F-22's wings at fuselage, avionics integration, and training systems, while Lockheed Martin, the prime contractor, constructed the majority of the aircraft's airframe and weapon systems and oversaw final assembly. On April 9, 1997, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Pratt & Whitney staged a rollout ceremony to introduce the first F-22 in production. It was the first of nine flyable F-22s built for flight testing. The 2,000-pound titanium and composite wings for the first F-22 production aircraft were delivered by Boeing in 2002. By the end of April 2005, Boeing had given Lockheed Martin 61 sets of wings, 66 aft fuselages, a number of integrated avionics to flight test packages and updates. The F-22 entered service in 2005 and was awarded the coveted Collier Trophy in 2006. However, in the years that followed, there was debate regarding its costs and benefits in the post-Cold War era. The next generation of Soviet fighters that were supposed to dominate aerial combat after the fall of the Soviet Union never materialized. In April 2009, the U.S. Department of Defense made the decision to stop producing the F-22 with 187 aircrafts. In 2012, the Air Force acquired the final F-22. The F-22 Raptor made its combat debut in coordinated attacks against Syria's Islamic State strongholds in September 2014, working with other fighter jets and bombers. So what are the features that make this fighter special? The F-22 Raptor is the first operational aircraft with a single weapons platform that combines supercruise, supermaneuverability, stealth, and sensor fusion. The F-22 has four impenage surfaces, leading edge root extensions that extend to the upper outboard corner of the carrot inlets, and clipped diamond-shaped delta wings that integrate into the fuselage. Leading edge flaps, flaperons, ailerons, rudders on the canted vertical stabilizers, and all moving horizontal tails are among the flight control surfaces. To operate as a speed brake, the ailerons deflect it upward, the flaperons downward, and the rudders outward to increase drag. The aircraft has an emergency tailhook, retractable tricycle landing gear, and a refueling goom receptacle located in the middle of its spine. First kill opportunity against threats is provided by a mix of sensor capability, integrated avionics, situational awareness, and armaments. The F-22 has an advanced sensor package that enables the pilot to follow, recognize, shoot, and eliminate air-to-air -air threats before they are noticed. The situational awareness of the pilot is greatly enhanced by significant developments in cockpit design and sensor integration. The Raptor is equipped with two AIM-9 sidewinders and six AIM-120M ROMs for air-to-air -air combat. The F-22 is very capable of attacking surface targets. The aircraft can carry two 1,000-pound GBU-32 joint direct attack munitions internally in the air-to-ground configuration 
and will utilize onboard avionics for navigation and weapons delivery support. Up to eight small diameter bombs and a new radar was added recently to improve air-to-ground capability. Additionally, the Raptor will be equipped with two AIM-120s and two AIM-9s for air-to-ground combat. With regard to air-to-air -air and surface-to-air threats, advances in low observable technology considerably increase lethality and survivability. The F-22 introduces stealth into the day, allowing it to safeguard not just other assets, but even itself. Performance of the F-22 Raptor is remarkable. It can fly at a maximum altitude of more than 65,000 feet and attain speeds of over Mach 2 thanks to its two Pratt & Whitney F-119 Pigolu 100 afterburning turbofan engines. Due to their high bypass ratio and great efficiency, these engines use less fuel because a large percentage of the airflow escapes the combustion chamber. To improve their overall performance, the engines also make use of cutting-edge technologies, such as sophisticated fan and compressor designs. Its thrust vectoring capabilities, which enable the aircraft to direct its engine thrust in multiple directions, enhance its agility and maneuverability, which also enables it to carry out impressive aerial maneuvers. The enhanced thrust-to-weight ratio, thrust vectoring, and superior aerodynamics of the F-22 give it the capacity to outmaneuver all other present and future aircraft. Aerodynamic adjustments have been made to the F-22 design throughout lengthy testing. The F-22's unique qualities work in combination to make the F-22 a deadly against all modern air threats. Surface-to-air missile engagement envelopes are dramatically reduced by the use of stealth, integrated avionics, and supercruise, which also reduces the ability of the opposition to track and engage the F-22. In a tactical setting, the combination of limited observability with supercruise highlights the benefit of surprise. More so than any fighter jet in history, the F-22 will be reliable and easy to repair. Less labor is needed to fix the aircraft, and it can operate more effectively because of its increased reliability and maintainability. So how is the F-22 better than the other fighters of our time? While fourth-generation fighters like the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, and F-A-18 Super Hornet all employ some measures to reduce their radar signature, stealth is an intrinsic part of the F-22's design. But it's not just about being sneaky, the F-22 can also fly at speeds above Mach 2.25 and execute incredibly aerobatic maneuvers, thanks to its thrust vectoring capabilities. It can also sustain supersonic speeds without the use of its afterburner, which is one talent found in the F-22 that can't be found in any other stealth fighter in the world. This talent of the F-22 is known as the Super Cruise. What is this special technology known as Super Cruise? used in the F-22, and how does it make the Raptor nearly invisible to radars? A crucial component of the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is Super Cruise, which enables the aircraft to maintain supersonic speeds without the need for afterburners. Fighter aircraft have historically relied on afterburners, which add fuel to the exhaust stream and provide more thrust, allowing them to reach supersonic speeds. However, afterburners use up a lot of fuel and drastically cut down on the aircraft's endurance and range. On the other side, Super Cruise describes an aircraft's capacity to maintain supersonic flight without using its afterburners. This is made possible by the F-22 Raptor's sophisticated aerodynamic design, effective engines, and integrated systems. The F-22 can maintain high speeds with less resistance because of its aerodynamic design, which lowers drag. It has a smooth, streamlined body with carefully considered curves that reduce turbulence and air resistance. The F-22 Raptor's ability to supercruise offers a number of benefits in combat situations. It enables the aircraft to get to its destination more quickly, allowing for speedier reaction times and increasing mission effectiveness. Additionally, the F-22 can operate more stealthily and with less thermal visibility while the afterburners are not engaged, enhancing its chances of evading opposing radar and infrared systems. Is the F-22 being used in the Russia-Ukraine war? To assist NATO's air shielding mission and increase deterrence against any Russian threats, the U.S. Air Force dispatched F-22 Raptor fighter jets to Lask, Poland. According to a statement from U.S. Air Forces in Europe and Air Forces Africa, the fifth-generation stealth fighter jets of the 90th Fighter Squadron quickly traveled to the 32nd Tactical Air Base in Lask, Poland, after arriving at RAF Lakenheath in England from Joint Base Omendorf-Richardson in Alaska. 
Beyond what was deployed before Russia invaded Ukraine in February, NATO's air shielding mission provides additional air and missile defense capabilities to its eastern frontiers. The air shielding, according to the Air Force, offers protection from the Baltic to the Black Seas. Do you think the F-22 Raptor is the most successful fighter jet to build as it hasn't stopped performing even after 25 years? Do you know of any better fighters than the F-22 Raptor? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.